We are stuck in the deep snow with our E8 bikes. But yeah, this is the test. That's the ultimate test of the smart ring, Luna ring. So let's do that. Hi guys, welcome to my new unboxing and review video. This time I've prepared for you unboxing and review of Smart Ring Luna Ring. I received this ring directly from the company Noise, but they are watching the review for the first time right now with you. As always, it will be my honest review, my honest thoughts, and as always, there will be a lot of facts, data, and there will be a comparison with another smart ring and with another smartwatch. So let's check how the Luna Ring behaved in my test. Your journey with the Luna Ring begins with the sizing kit. Basically, before getting the real deal, you will receive a small box with a few plastic rings of various sizes. I chose size 7. You wear this test ring for 24 hours to make sure it's the perfect fit and comfortable to wear. Only after that you order your actual ring in your preferred size and color. Fast forward and the real smart ring arrives. The Luna ring comes in a compact box. And before we continue, let's address the elephant in the room. My nails. If you notice something strange, no, it's not dirt. My fingers were brutally attacked by cold weather. Anyway, let's move on to the unboxing. Inside an impressively designed case, right on the top sits the Luna Ring. I chose the golden version because, well, why not add some bling to my health tracking? The ring has a nice small diagonal detail, which, as I later found out, is more than just a design choice. It helps you keep track of the correct orientation since the ring tends to rotate throughout the day. And guys, this matters because the sensors should be placed on the underside of your finger. Technically, the ring is supposed to be worn on the index finger, but since my index and ring fingers are practically twins, I switch between them sometimes. The sizing kit did its job well because the fit is spot on. Holding the ring in my hand, I must say it's quite impressive. It looks sleek, feels lightweight, the sensors are neatly tucked inside, but I will get into that later. By the way, Luna is the proud winner of Red Dot 2024, the top design award globally. Next in the box we have the charger, which features a USB-C connector. The wireless charger is custom made for your specific ring size. Hidden inside you will find a USB-C to USB-C cable and my personal favorite, the manual. Because as it turns out, I should have read it sooner. But we will get to that fiasco later. Now let's plug in the ring and connect it to a smartphone. You can pair it with either Android or iPhone and for this test I used my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Once set up, all the information from the ring syncs with the Luna app where I will be tracking my data. See you in a month for the full review. All right, weeks have passed and I have thoughts. <laughs> That's good. Let's start with the basics. All of this data is available in the well-organized Luna app and the best part, no subscription fees. A to se horste vyplatí which was an inside joke for my Slovak and Czech audience. I want to say something like, and that is a great deal, but I was very funny in our language, <laughs> I hope. The Luna Ring monitors over 70 health metrics, offering insights into sleep, activity, readiness, stress, menstrual health and more. When it comes to sleep tracking, the ring measures metrics like resting heart rate, respiratory rate, blood oxygen levels and heart rate variability, it also analyzes REM and deep sleep patterns. After an update, in the app appeared a sleep planner. There is your ideal bedtime and you can straight set your alarm or set your sleeping goal. 
On the activity side, you can track your heart rate zones, calories burned, steps taken, and also hourly movement. One thing I absolutely loved was the automatic activity tracking. While you can manually start tracking a workout, the ring recognizes activities like walking or running on its own. It was even more precise and more often than Ultra Human Ring Air. Menstrual health tracking. The ring predicts fertile days and periods, allows for symptom logging, explaining body processes, and even features a menstrual AI for personalized insights. You have overview on your cycle history too. <laughs> if you are a woman, of course. The Luna Coach is an advanced AI that provides nutritional advice, workout coaching, and fitness analysis free of cost. Think of it as your personal real fitness trainer minus the real trainer. <laughs> you got it, yeah? The ring features sensors powered by Philips Biosensing, boasting an impressive accuracy rate. I tested the heart rate measurements against a Garmin device and the medical grade gadget and impressively the Luna ring held up well, actually really well. I tested the Luna Ring alongside the Ultra Human Ring Air and the Garmin Epix Pro second generation. You can find reviews of those on my YouTube channel. I used the gadgets for all kinds of activities. So I start with a step counting. This is always a tricky metric. I've tested variables for over a decade and no device ever gets the same exact step count. I repeated that in half of my previous reviews. You can check them for my explanation about the step counting. So the Luna Ring sometimes registered fewer steps than the other devices, sometimes more, but overall the results were within a reasonable range and I had a very good feeling from that. Sleep tracking. Again, the sleep score weren't identical across the devices, but the differences were minor. I can't verify it in my home conditions. As usual, I had differences with the REM phases or the deep sleep, but on the other hand, sleep efficiency was very high and this is something that I used to have on a high levels always. My app kept nagging me to sleep more though, but let's ignore that part in this review. From my perspective, personal experience, I am very okay with the sleep tracking and the recommendations. Blood oxygen levels. Luna's measurements were in line with my Garmin and considering the Ultra Human Ring Air still has this feature in beta, I leaned more toward Garmin's results. Safe to say the Luna Ring did again a solid job. Skin temperature tracking. I couldn't verify this with 100% certainty since the readings from Luna, Garmin and Ultrahuman all differed slightly. However, they weren't wildly off. No bizarre two degree discrepancies, which is reassuring. I'm starting to be repetitive, but yes, good, okay, Luna ring. So it's time to check the data from the trainings. Another wonderful training of snowshoeing. Uh, well, I classified that as a walking, so <laughs> let's see. But unfortunately, I don't know what about the data because we were stopping a lot. We had also big break to grill the sausages and marshmallows, so let's check it. And yes, my concerns were justified. The average heart rate was not similar and the distance was also totally out. What I need to say is that the ring doesn't have inbuilt GPS, but it it takes data from the smartphone, also the ultra human ring, so I can't really review the GPS accuracy as it depends on the phone. However, during a proper cycling session, the data were definitely more accurate. It's quite difficult to go in a, such a deep snow with the effect bikes, but we are trying and fighting. You alive? Welcome to Easy. <laughs> Welcome to easy snow biking. I'm still biking. You are back. The Luna Ring's recorded distance was almost identical to the other devices, which was great. And the heart rate didn't worry that much. Now let's talk about my favorite struggle, charging. And by struggle, I don't mean charging itself. I mean my own inability to read instructions. 
Turns out there's a small white mark on the charger indicating how to position the ring. If you place it correctly, it charges. If you don't, well, it doesn't. Simple as that. I, on the other hand, tried every cable and adapter I owned, wondering why it worked sometimes and sometimes not. Lesson learned, read the quacking manual. Otherwise, it was not too obvious to place the ring on the charger, so you have to be careful. But once you know about it, you can check it and it is not a rocket science. Battery life was otherwise amazing. It lasted 6 to 7 days for me. A full charge took about 2 hours. Another minor annoyance, um, the app takes a little longer to synchronize when opened. Maybe there's a technical reason for this, but it occasionally felt sluggish. Also, the app was a bit too fast in scrolling through past data. I had to be extra careful not to skip over days when reviewing my stats. So, the final thoughts. I think I can say the Lunaring impressed me. It offers great tracking accuracy, a well-designed app, no subscription fees. Sure, it has minor quirks, but overall it's a solid contender in the smart ring market. If you are looking for a sleek, lightweight and highly functional health tracker, this one's worth considering. And probably you know there is uh, already announced second generation of the Lunaring, but the generation 1 Lunaring which I tested is just as capable and will have the same software updates as the Lunaring Generation 2. That's all what I would like to tell you for now. If you have some questions about the smart ring, then ask me in the comments. I will try to answer you. Also, if you already have this smart ring because it's not the newest thing on the market, then please uh, write your experiences to the comments. We can also help like this to someone who is deciding if buy or not to buy. And if you are decided to buy, then I have for you some discount codes. There are two two types of discount codes. One is bigger, one is smaller. So check the description, please. And uh, the ring comes in five uh, colors and it costs $300. So if you want to save some money, check the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that we spent some time together here on this channel. If you want, you can give me subscription, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you want, you can also check my Instagram. And um, yeah, that's all. Thank you so much and see you some other time with some other device. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, we continue? Yeah, continue. Yeah, no problem. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs>